Hello, hello. Today is March 18th, 2023. And the word of the day is touch. And the card of the day is three of wands. And I want to tell you a story about when I was in college and I was taking this class and it was discussing and demonstrating the power of touch. And basically what they did, they did this experiment where, I mean, Back in the day, experiments on animals weren't the best. So I give a precaution as you're listening to this video. And basically what they did is they took monkeys, like chimpanzees, and they put them in cages. And they put one without a mother, like a touch, like one monkey with like their mother and one monkey without their mother. And what they found is the monkey that had the, the touch, the motherly touch survived. And the chimpanzee that wasn't touched was malnourished, like, and wanted to, it started to die basically. And also what they found is even if they put like a fake monkey, like a fake mother, like a cushion, like a, like a doll that was mother, like the chimpanzee's monkey, the chimpanzee's mother, the monkey thrived. And so what it showed me is that human touch is very important. So basically, if an infant is not touched by its mother, it will not grow in a healthy manner, if you will. It will like look malnourished, like it wants to die. So that's why we hold babies too, is it's part of nourishing their being. And in fact, they have found that touch quickly transfers emotions. So have you ever been around anybody who, like you were in a bad mood and they touched you and all of a sudden your spirits were lifted? And, or you've been around someone who touched you and you felt off. See, there's always like a transference of energy going on. And, or you've watched a movie and it made you cry. It touched you. Or you've seen a piece of art and it touched you and you were like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. Or you've enjoyed the sunrise or the sunset and the ocean. And you're like, oh my God, that just touched me. It opened up my spirit. And so there's many ways that we can touch people through our words, how we say something or whether we don't say something. So it doesn't necessarily have to be physical. However, the physical is necessary for human development. And at times touch conveys things that words, pictures can't convey.
our thoughts are touching people. Our energy is touching people, whether we are aware of it or not. Because of the law of oneness, we are all one. And so we affect one another, the good and the bad. And then there's like collective consciousness that affects us as well. And so I guess what I want to ask you is like, how, how do you want to touch people? When you think about how your energy can be used through your words, through your physical touch, through listening, through seeing, you're touching everything. And it becomes a choice. Do you want to touch from a place of unconditional love? A place of joy? A place of compassion? A place of hope? a place of inspiration or from a place of fear, anger, shame, and guilt. And so whatever is going on in our energy field, that's what we're transferring out to others. And it's coming back to us. So we're touching and we're touching the universe. We're touching our, even our manifestations. So how do you want to touch the world around you? Because when you're, what you're touching in the world around you in the way that you're touching it is the way that it's coming back to you. So if you're touching it with love, you're going to attract more love. It's a compounding thing. And if you touch things with joy and positive vibes, that's what's going to come back to you. That's what other people are going to feel from you. And they've done studies on touch like a few different studies on touch and um, in physical pain and emotional pain. And basically the same part of the brain lights up from physical pain to emotional pain. So whether you're feeling emotional pain or physical pain, it's the same part of the brain that's getting lit up. And so if you took a Tylenol, not only are you, like let's say you had physical pain and you took a Tylenol, you're also dealing with emotional pain. That's what's so interesting. So just like physical pleasure or emotional pleasure creates physical pleasure and physical pleasure creates emotional pleasure. It's the same brain center that gets lit up. And also what they did is they did this other experiment where they uh, gave somebody, they asked these like not knowing participants to hold a cup of coffee. Half of the participants were held a hot cup of coffee and half of the participants carried a cold cup of coffee. And then they gave them like this sheet that says, this person is honest, this person is friendly, this person is dishonest, this person is cold, cold unfriendly, angry. And what they found interestingly is people who had carried, held, the warm cup of coffee had warm things to say about this fictional person, meaning like 
this person was honest, they were open, they were sociable, they were friendly. And the people who had the cold cup, who held the cold cup, said that this person was dishonest, unfriendly, closed off, angry. And so I say this to say that there's different things that go on in our environment that touch us, that give us different emotions and feelings. And to be aware of like, when we're looking at anything, to look at it from a perspective that our observation affects the 3D material. This is also called the observer's effect in psychology, where when they've done experiments, the experiment is not independent of what the person is seeing. Their perspective change, changes the outcome. So basically, we have the power to change any outcome with how we are receiving it. So if we are receiving it from a place of like detachment, we will not be offended, right? We won't take it personal. We can be detached, observing, and we know how to respond instead of react from a place of this has nothing to do with me and everything to do with what's going on with them. And that creates a space for you to touch with your energy, with your presence, if you will, the circumstance that you're dealing with. And that could be like discernment. instead of judgment, which is the shadow. So we can touch with the light or we can touch with the shadow. Shadows based on fear. The light is associated with unconditional love, trust, joy, compassion, hope, inspiration, happiness, abundance, generosity, being receptive, giving. So there's different ways to touch. And with that, I'm going to start with the uh, three of wands. <clears throat> and so the three of wands is this person who is looking to the future and there's ships on the horizon but usually ships to me well I'll say one time I had a vision I was in a ceremony and I had a vision of ships coming in And when I saw this card, it brought back that memory. And this could be ships coming in to deliver goods. Maybe you've put projects out there and your work is out there. You're expecting something to be coming in but also you're looking, looking out in the distance for it. So like when we have, when we believe in our vision, 
we are looking for it. We are looking outward to see the ships coming in, to see the manifestations coming in. So when you order something in the mail from Safeway, from Costco, from Amazon, you're in your mind, you're waiting for those ships to come in, those products, those valuables. And this is what this card reminds me of. And this card could also denote like global, like international connections, inter global connections, international travel, international merchants, merchantry is the word that's coming to my mind, merchantry. Because in the past, that's how people traded. And even though we still have ships that transport so many products across the globe, you know, we just generally pick it up at the store, but there's so much commerce going on. And this is what this card denotes to me. Commerce, global commerce, ships coming in, ships going out, vision. And this could be metaphorical, like I said, with your manifestation. So you have set things in motion to call in some things, to attract some things into your life. And these either you've, uh, sent ships out or waiting for ships to come in, depending on where you're at. But I'm pretty sure like there's always stuff going in and stuff coming in, out, like giving and receiving the masculine and feminine energy. Giving your order to spirit and envisioning spirit, bringing that order to you. And uh, so what I wanted to say about this basically is when you're touching your manifestations and you're touching them, when you think about them, you think about them with love, you think about them with joy, you think about them in a positive way of what's on the way to you the faster they come, but they always come and in divine order. And so touch, remember, creates the emotion. So when you have emotional touch, when you have emotional touch with visual touch, you're connecting your feelings with your vision and also you can use like a physical touch to make the connection. It creates an emotion in you, which allows these things to be magnetized towards you. And I just wanted to say like, when I pet my dog, like I pet him, I feel so much love, you know? And so that's how you want to feel towards your manifestation. When you're attracting something, you want to feel so much love for it, so much joy for it, so much appreciation for it. And if you can go to ecstasy and bliss and excitement, that's amazing. Because those you're basically touching with your energy, with your unseen energy, you're touching these things that are in the quantum and magnetizing them towards you. They have 
an address and that address is your emotional touch to that manifestation until you're actually physically touching it like a ring uh you know like a piece of clothing a computer you know whatever it is a person that you're wanting to attract and so this is also like having vision holding the vision with the emotion and that's how you touch the unseen what is invisible you touch it in your vision and in your feelings and if you want you can actually if you're auditory you can hear hear The other two senses like um, taste and smell, but usually for me, you know, and everybody's different and how they represent the world, the map of the world. And so for me, it's more like, I feel it, I see it and I just love it. And when I love it and I just want it just because I would love it, that's when it comes to me like with so much ease. And also being clear before you actually put your energetic touch on it because you're gonna get whatever you want. It's just being clear about what you want really locks it in. Because it's not, it's like, it's like you have this whole buffet of whatever you want that you can touch with your energy and attract. And so there's no lack. You're not being deprived of anything. Everything is there for you. But what is it that you really want in this moment, like for example, today or in the next week or in the next month or in the next year or in the next two years or however you quantify time. And maybe you don't have a specific date, but you just want it, want something. And that's okay. You don't have to have a specific date. You can just have a desire for something and fill it with your love and light and your joy and your excitement. And the unit spirit will move that into your space as you're living your life. But you've nurtured it with your unique touch your frequency your word your sight your energy is basically the address of where this manifestation is to come so knowing your energy and honoring your frequency and your like thumbprint energetic thumbprint if you will is what allows the manifestation to land. And that's just simply being excited for it, feeling it, seeing it. Like I said, maybe even hearing what would be said when you got it or, uh, you know, like, oh my God, I'm so happy that I got this. Oh my God, I'm so happy that I got this. I love this thing. And seeing that in, in the movie of your head and feeling that in the way that you would actually feel that not different from how you would be today. You're not being a different person. 
you are just in a way appreciating the thing that is already there that is on its way to you through your energetic touch. So I think that's all I have for you today about touch. Touch with light. Everything that you see with your words, with your hearing, when you listen, hear, speak, see with light. Thank you for listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.